Hey guys, welcome to another Grouch Guide. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I'm preparing my Whitesmith for War of Imperials. I have 7 things to show you in this video, so it's a bit longer than my usual ones, but I hope you'll stay with me in until the end. You can check the description of the video for the topics and their timestamps, so you can skip to the sections that you're interested in. First topic is my stats. I have 99 strength and 99 dex. This gives me 44k HP in the field and 177k HP in PvP. My base attack is only 2.2k because I don't have strength. That goes up to 2.8k with buffs and that's still pretty low. But that's because I'm emphasizing defense and HP for PvP. Because I'm a firm believer that PvP is all about surviving first and then dealing damage. My offhand is Static Shield slotted with a Mark card. My armor is Goibni Armor slotted with a Terra Frog card. My garment is Staunch Cape slotted with a Rager card. My footwear is Staunch Shoes slotted with a Ferris card. Now my accessories are still the same. They are offense based but and I haven't slotted them yet but I should. I can put a Horon card for the sight that it gives. My weapon is still the same, it's still that plus 10 Vessor Axe, but more importantly, my headgear is the Midgard Helm with a plus 5. It has this, it has better stats than a Feather Beret. My mid headgear is a Goblin Leader Mask. My bottom headgear is a Spiked Scarf. I have a pretty good enchant in it. And my Devil Wings for my back. And lastly, my Frost Wishes because I don't have any defensive uh, gotcha tails. Next up is my skill build. I have level 10 card attack, level 10 enchanted card, level 14 loud exclamation, level 5 change card, and level 5 buying low because I have to use up all the skill points. For the blacksmith tree, I have level 5 overtrust, level 10 adrenaline rush, level 10 weapon perfection, level 5 hammer fall, level 10 skin tempering, and level 10 weaponry research. For the whitesmith tree, I have level 1 card boost, level 10 card termination, level 1 weapon repair, level 5 overtrust max, level 20 meltdown because it reduces attack and defense by 300 and it has a chance to break weapons and armor. I have level 15 human heart slight because it gives 16.67 demi human damage reduction and lastly level 1 trading master in case I need to buy stones during pvp. Topic number 4 is the remap. Uh, I want to show you the stats that I get from my room map and I want to point out that I have 6% max HP from my runes. Now this is the rune grid. I have 326 gold medals and over 200k contribution points spent. These are the runes that I took. I got 2 demi human damage runes. I took 5 change card runes which you can remove if you don't want the move speed reduction. I have 5 card attack runes. You should know where these are by now if you've watched my previous videos. I also took 5 damage to fire monster runes because I think these work on people wearing fire armor or wearing pasana card on their armor slots. I also took the card revolution runes numbered 6 to 9. These 4 runes give a 25% chance to remove your opponent's weapon. Normally I wouldn't bother with these runes but in PvP removing your opponent's weapons will greatly reduce their attack power which in turn will make you survive longer. I also took 5 strength runes and 5 max HP percent runes. Now there are actually 10 of these max HP percent runes but like that uh, they're pretty far away and they're pretty expensive so I couldn't get all 10 of them. However, there are 5 runes near the middle which are pretty accessible so I strongly suggest getting these 5 runes to get the 6% max HP% percent bonus. I also took 5 card increase runes to negate the movement speed penalty 
and I also took four the four lock switch rooms. Topic number five is journal storage. Now, if you notice, I have eight percent damage against them humans. Now that's above average, and I want to show you guys how I did it. So first is go to head gears, filter by race and then select demi human it'll show you all the head gears that are related to demi human damage now i got one percent from the marquios's gaze one percent from bricks of victory one percent from masquerade and lastly one percent from alice doll so that's a total of four percent from head gear. the remaining four percent are from cards so let's filter again by race and then demi human the first two percent i got is from the baby desert wolf card it's not a desert wolf card so please take note of the difference and i stored my hydro card for another two percent so that's four percent from card storage topic number six is cuisine original will stake will prevent you from getting fatal damage it will keep you alive for two seconds so you can use that time to use a potion or get healed food number two is original will green barbecue this will prevent you from getting status effects like stun or fear. Note that these two food have 15 seconds cooldown so don't rely on them too much. And lastly, food number 3 is original will fish kebab. This will give you additional damage to players so this is like a, a mini hydra card. And lastly, topic number 7, the cat cafe. The Cat Cafe sells items that are only usable in PvP and War of Imperium. Now there are a lot of items on this tour but I only want to highlight 5 of them. Special Black Tea will restore 20% of your PvP HP and Special Green Tea will restore 20% of your SP. Now Strawberry Waffle will reduce 20% incoming damage for 3 minutes so this is useful for attacker teams and when your defense teams are starting to get overwhelmed. Caramel Cocoa will restore 20% of your HP and SP. I'm not sure why they cost the same as Special Black Tea and Special Green Tea. Uh, I hope that's not a typo because you know, it's all of them were 20%. And lastly, Mild Sake, which will in increase your attack by 5% for 15 minutes. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for sticking with the video. Now before I end, I want to show you a few clips of PvP. Even though I'm wearing full defensive gear, I can still deal good damage to other players. And also I want to emphasize that even though I'm wearing full defense, if you get ganged up by 3 or 4 players, you will still die. So that's just how PvP is. Now this ends my video on how I'm preparing for War of Imperium. If, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And that's it for this video guys. I hope you learned something and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!